We are in the Stone Creek Kitchen, and we are helping you build your body, build your mind this week, our theme. And uh, both are easy to do with the right foods, because, of course, what we put in is going to be how we function. And I'm excited. Executive chef of Del Frisco's Grill, Monty Healy, is here. And he has some great recipes to keep our hearts and our minds healthy and strong. Welcome to you. Well, this is a fun dish. We've had a lot of fun. I can't wait to learn about the mango, but we want to get the tuna. We're going to make a tuna salad, right. but not the typical tuna salad. Right. We're getting Ah, we're going to actually sear it in uh, black sesame seeds, white sesame seeds, and chives. Okay. So it'll be a little crust. All righty. So, so, we, so we're doing both? Yeah, white into... and black sesame seeds. Okay. And some finely chopped chives. And this is on the menu? This is on the menu. Awesome. Every day. And okay. we use olive oil in there. We're actually using a canola oil. It has Ooh. less flavor, so you can taste the tuna more. Nice. Right. See, you tricked me. I'm so used to the... I'm, I'm so used to chefs coming and doing olive oil, but canola oil is a nice change. There you go. And then you uh, just want a little salt and white pepper on your tuna. And then you're going to put it in your crust. And this is ahi. Is there a particular type? I mean, I know we, there's different blue types. Blue tuna, okay. tuna is probably the most popular. Um, really? But just, you know, fresh, good fresh tuna is the best. So. Fresh, delicious tuna. So how long will that need to grill? Usually and sear. Do it for about 15 seconds on each side. 15 on each side. Okay, so now we're going into the mango, which is going to be a major component of the salad, right? Absolutely. And I loved it because I asked you, how do you pick a good mango? Well, the way I pick a good mango is you don't want to buy a mango you're going to eat the same day, typically. Um, sometimes they're soft on the outside and they're really hard on the inside, so it doesn't really taste like Yeah, because this is nice and soft, and you said, what did you do with this to make it soft? This I bought it a few days ahead of time, so I plan ahead when I'm going to eat a mango. and buy it three, four, five days ahead of time. Okay. And just let it sit in the dark. Sit in the dark, and what? And I, when you said that, I was like, really? You put your fruit in a dark place, and that will soften it up. Yep. Because you said when we when they purchase them, they're green, and then to put put water they're, on them to make them green, red. They're green, and in a lot of places, shock them in hot water. They get that color coming out, so ah. they kind of trick you into being right. I don't want you to miss your tuna. So okay, so now what do we do? How do we cut it? So the first thing you want to do with the mango, since it's kind of a weird shape, you just want to cut a little bit off the bottom to give yourself a base. Okay. Okay. So once you start cutting, the juices come out. It gets really slippery. And you have a sharp knife, you don't want to slip and cut yourself. Okay. All right, so then there's a pit that runs down the middle of the, uh, the uh, mango. You want to cut on either side of it. It's about a quarter inch thick. I'm going to turn this again. Is it ready? Yeah. To put it on this next side? Sure. Okay, I just. All right, I know you have a lot going, so there we go. Perfect, that's good. All so right, I'll stay here. Nice, I'm going nice to stand here yeah, for about 30 seconds, right? And then yeah. I'll turn it again? Okay. So that looks good. So you take your mango with the skin on it. Always, you don't really want to use a sharp knife to do this because if you cut yourself, that's not good. Okay. So you just take your knife, take your butter knife, and uh, cut your lines through it. And you're just you're just basically getting it right off the, the skin? Exactly. Okay. So it just makes it as simple as possible. And you just take a big spoon and you just scoop the whole entire thing out all in one time. Nice. Chef, do you want me to turn it again, the tuna? Okay. All right. That's our last one. That's the fourth side. So then we'll take, uh, we can probably take that off. Okay. We put it over here. All right. Right here, it's fine. There you go. And we'll cut it. And you have some, uh, your noodles boiling here, which I know you had already started. Yep. So it's going to be a, uh, a sesame noodle salad underneath the sliced tuna. Okay. Oh, that looks good. And that's what we're looking for, right? That pink? Yeah, exactly. Um, depending on how you like your tuna cooked, you can cook it more, you can cook it less. This is just nice, lightly seared. Um, do you want me to go ahead and put the noodles down here on the plate for you? Yeah, actually, you can do that. Okay. So we have our sesame noodles here. We okay. have what we call cucumber noodles. It's the skin off of uh, a seedless cucumber. We have roasted peanuts. That looks really good. And we have some green onions. Nice. And then okay. we just place our yeah, so you're just tuna gonna right on top. The tuna on top. We'll go ahead and put it on this one that's already All right. Wow. That looks great. And in our next segment, we're going to be doing a salad? We're going to do a seared Asian tuna salad. All right. Well, that we are just getting started, and we have put uh, the recipes for you on SonoranLiving.com. And I'm excited because this looks amazing, and I haven't tried tuna, so I'm going to dig into this.